she was sad, but now she's glad she dodged a bullet. Mm-hmm. Took a few years to soak up the tears, but look at her now. Watch her go. What's up everyone? Today we're learning English with the superstar pop singer and Disney Channel actress Selena Gomez. In this lesson, we'll help you to understand aspects of pronunciation with some of her biggest hits as well as learning new vocabulary. But before we get into it and in case you're new here, we are here to help you learn fast English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. Just like this fan who says that our channel is so interesting to learn English with. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell down below so that you don't miss any of our new lessons. Learning how natives connect words will help you understand fast speech and improve your listening skills. When you listen to natural spoken English, you don't hear word by word, but rather a smooth speech in which sounds are connected to each other. Take a look at this part of Selena's Look at Her Now song. Can you identify what happens here? Took a few years to soak up the tears, but look at her now. Watch her go. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. One of the ways natives connect words is by joining the consonant sound at the end of one word with a vowel sound at the beginning of the next word. Pay attention to how Selena says the sentence took a few years. She joins the K sound from the word took with the word a. Uh. So instead of hearing took a, uh, what you hear is took a. The same happens with soak up and look at her. Listen again. Took a few years to soak up the tears, but look at her now. Watch her go. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Look at her now. Watch her go. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Did you know that oftentimes the letter E at the end of a word is not pronounced? Normally, when a word in English finishes with this letter, what we hear or say is the sound that comes before. For example, love, same, like. So, these words are likely to connect with the words that come next. Listen to the chorus of Same Old Love and try to notice that. What you hear is like I, not like I, and same old, and not same old. Let's test it. Look at this part from the song Fetish. Which words do you think she'll connect? Ready to listen and check? Take it or leave it Baby, take it or leave it But I know you won't leave it Cause I know that you need it uh, Look in the mirror When I look in the mirror Baby, I see it clear Why you wanna be near? Uh, so how was it? Could you anticipate that the verbs take, leave, need and see would all link to the pronoun it? How about the words but cause and when, connecting to the pronoun I, and the word look and in becoming look in. Now look at this excerpt from Boyfriend. Try to pronounce the highlighted parts connecting the sounds. Let's try it together, repeat after me. Tell me, are there any good ones left? Tell me, are there any good ones left? I keep finding wrong ones, but I won't love again and again. 
I keep finding wrong ones, but I want love again and again. This time with the song. Tell me all the any good ones left. I keep finding wrong ones, but I want love again and again. I want a boyfriend. This is good training for you to do with your favorite songs and use them to help you speak faster and more fluently. Write in the comments below your favorite songs to practice speaking English. Do you struggle to understand fast speaking natives? Then I highly recommend our Fluent with Friends course. In this 48 week course, you'll learn with the first two seasons of Friends. You'll receive PDF power lessons every week, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And did you know you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass? All you have to do is click up here or down in the description box below to learn more and sign up now. Besides being an actress and a singer, Selena Gomez is also a producer for the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why. Here's part of the song Back To You featured in season two. We never got it right, playing and replaying all conversations, overthinking every word and I hate it cause it's not me. And what's the point of hiding? Everybody knows we got unfinished business and I'll regret it if I didn't say this isn't what it could be. If you get something right, it means that you understood or did something correctly. Here, she says they never got it right, meaning they couldn't agree or find out what would make their relationship work. With me, he says he's so in love, he's finally got it right. I wonder if he knows he's all I think about it now. Overthinking every word and I hate it cause it's not me. Over is a prefix, words used before other words, that expresses excess. You use it before some words when there's too much of that thing. For example, you say overdose, oversleep, overreact. So following the pattern, overthink is to think too much about something, normally focusing on irrelevant details. You told me that I overthink till I ruin a good thing. Anything else? <gasps> and what's the point of hiding? Everybody knows we got unfinished business. To ask what's the point is the same as asking what the purpose or reason for something is. You can also use this question when you are trying to understand the main idea of what someone is saying or doing. And what's the point of hiding? Everybody knows we got unfinished business. To have unfinished business means that there's still something that needs to be discussed or completed because the solution is unsatisfactory. It's common to use this expression when referring to relationships with the idea that the couple needs to discuss or deal with their feelings so they can get over them. And I'll regret it if I didn't say this isn't what it could be. Regret is the feeling you have when you did or said something, but you wish you hadn't. For example, a regret moving to the countryside, I wish I lived in the city, or I regret telling Marina about that job, I wish I hadn't said anything. I admit it, this is payback in a way. I regret it that I did it. I don't want a couple Grammys, but I sold my soul to get them. 
If you're a fan of learning English with music, then I highly recommend you check out this playlist where you'll find lots of different songs and artists to choose from. You're bound to find someone you love. So you'll find that by clicking up here or down in the description box below to choose your next lesson. You could break my heart in two, but when it heals it beats for you. When it comes to relationships, to break someone's heart refers to telling a person you don't love them the same way they love you. This is a metaphor to make someone feel extremely sad. Which ones do you think are synonyms for heal in this song? The word heals here refers to the broken heart and as we saw, it's a state of utmost sadness. She says that once she has cured or recovered from the sadness she's feeling, her heart will beat, feel happy again for the same person who broke it in the first place. I know it's forward, but it's true. To be forward with someone is to be completely honest and speak with confidence. However, when you say someone is or was too forward, it usually implies a negative idea. It gives the idea that the person says or said something beyond what is expected of normal or good manners. When I'm lying close to someone else, you're stuck in my head. If something is stuck in your head, it means that that's all you can think about. Can you think of a time when you listened to a catchy song and spent the whole day humming or singing it? In this case, you can say that the song is stuck in your head. This sentence is expressing an imaginary situation. She cannot do things again, but imagines how she would act if she could. When you need to express unreal possibilities, you can use the second conditional. After if, we use a verb in the simple past, and in the second part, we use would with another verb. Note that when speaking, it's common to contract would and just hear d. Also, you can invert the order of the sentences and still keep the same meaning. Take a look. If I had money, I'd travel all over the world. I'd travel all over the world if I had money. She wouldn't live here if she didn't attend Oxford University. If she didn't attend Oxford University, she wouldn't live here. Show me a real good 